G'day everyone. On this windy January afternoon, I've made my way back to the Allen's Flat waterhole to see if I can catch my biggest ever silver perch. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now some of you may have seen the video that I uploaded last week where I caught my biggest ever silver perch right here where I'm standing. It was 29 centimetres. Well here I am a week later. I want to see if I can beat 29 centimetres but I also want to try something different to see if I can catch silver perch without harassing the turtles. This place is infested with turtles and I've caught 14 or 15 or something in my last two trips. So this time I'm going to try using sweet corn. It's my friend Rowan from RKJ Fishing. I was talking to Rowan on the phone this morning and I said, does corn work for silver perch? And he says, absolutely it does. He also told me that he's caught turtles on corn. But anyway, I'm going to put two lines in, one with worms, one with corn, to see if I can catch silver perch on corn without annoying the turtles and hopefully catch my biggest silver perch, beating my 29 centimetre model from last week. Oh, there's my corn rig, a bubble float with about three to four feet of dropper. Now that's where I was catching the fish the other day, just out there. I'm not sure what the wind's going to do to my float. It might make it move down there, and if it does, I might have to swap sides with my other rod. Or get a stick and put it up there. My second rod, which is a running sinker rig with a small sinker, not much bigger than a pea, a small hook and a single janjuck worm that can just go out there, where it was the other night. Right now I've just moved my float rig out here. What I'm going to do is just lean the rod on the ground like that. It's going to take a pretty serious fish to pull it up and over if I'm not watching. So that should be pretty right with the float rig I think. That just keeps them apart and prevents them from getting tangled. Fishing with a float can be quite awkward in the wind. Well, guess what folks? Turtles like corn. There's my float's just gone pulled under. And it stayed under, and it better not be another turtle. It's another turtle. Well, that's two turtles in five minutes. Our float's gone under. Another turtle, is it? Yep, third turtle in about five minutes. This time it's a monster. Here you go, float's getting towed, float's getting towed, and got him. Huh? Another turtle! Wow, who would have thought? There's a, a slight chance that, that one may not have been a turtle. But I'm going to have to reel it in because the wind's blowing it straight into them weeds. Oh no. I was wrong, it was a turtle. Right now, after catching six straight turtles, I have uh, now got worms on each rod. I've got five straight on the corn under the float. Then I've caught number six on the worm on the running sinker. And then the float went under again. So I thought, stuff it. I'll put a worm on the float and see if that slows the turtle down. That looks a bit more turtle-like. What have I got? I've got a fish. I've got a finned fish. I have got a carp. I was going to say I've got a silver perch, but I have got a tiny weeny European carp about 10 or 12 centimetres long. Well, that was unexpected. Loretta and I were only talking the other day, wondering whether there's carp in here or not. Well, there is. I can uh, tell you firsthand from experience. That was a European carp, all of about 10 or 12 centimetres long. Been getting lots of little nibbles here over the last half an hour or so, but I reckon weren't turtles, they're really fast. I reckon that's what it might have been. I often like to feed the sea eagles when I'm fishing, but this time I'm going to see if I can get this little carp and feed that crow that's sitting in the tree over there. He's looking, but I think he's a bit wary. Well, I've got something on the other line now. I've missed the hookup. That's another little carp. Oh wow. Carp Central. Instant uh, 
in the last I just threw that line in and I started filming and I thought I might just move this I had this over there I thought I might put it back over that way where it was and uh, there's a little carp I'm getting the bottom of my float bye bye carp the great carp plague of Valens Flat in 2022 last time I was here I caught two redfin two silver perch now I've caught two carp must be due to catch two yellow belly I reckon I just had a nibble on my worms very very hard to detect bites in this wind but there it goes it's pulling the line tight got him very small is that another carp or is it a little silver or is it a little red fin it's a tiny weeny little red fin <laughs> two small carp now one small red fin all on the back of half a dozen toidles Getting a bite on this rod here, I was just stuffing around with me float. Trying to get me uh, float back out. And I had a nice bite on the, on the running sinker rig. And bite central just here at the moment. Got him. What have I got? Please don't be a baby turtle. Oh, it was a turtle too. But he let go, thank God for that. Right, now the float's getting pulled around a bit. The float's getting towed and got him. Got something small under the float. Is it another? That's another red fin. And he swallowed the hook. And he is tiny. Absolutely tiny. So I just hooked a turtle and caught a baby red fin in the space of about 30 seconds. I just put that in there, then the moment it hit the bottom it had a bite. There's hardly even any worm left in it. Got him. Another tiny little red fin, is it? Wow, there must be a lot of these in here. Now the float's getting towed around again. The float's going under. Now, mate, you just go down there in the water for a minute. Keep you comfortable. Try and deal with his float, then I'll come back for the red fin. Got him. Oh, I lost him. Another tiny, weeny little red fin. The old Janjuck worms, I'm struggling to leave them in the water for any more than about a minute or two at the moment. I put them in, I get a bite on one rod, and while I'm tending to it, the other rod gets a bite. They'd just be nice if there was something bigger than a red fin, sort of 10 centimetres long. <laughs> but a 10 centimetre red fin is always more welcome than a 10 centimetre carp. But a 40 centimetre silver perch would be the ultimate, wouldn't it? <laughs> it was a bite, because now I've got the turtle by the feel of it. Finally something that's not a 3 inch redfin, and I'm back to where I started with the big old turtles. I'd rather any finned fish than a turtle. He's actually hooked in the side. They've hooked his shell, that's why he's fighting so well. Come back here, mate. Come, come back here. Come back here. Mate, you're not even hooked. You're going to be fine. It's just your shell. It's just your shell. Look. Look, it's just hooked on your shell. More on the edge of the shell. There we go. Look at that. So, oh, shit. Wheeze. I was, I was planning a more graceful release, but he had other ideas. That float's gone under. Fit in a big way, too. He's got that. Got him. This might be a decent... Oh. This might be a decent fish, it's another carp. What's that silver? Hi ho silver! At last! I can hear him grunting. People keep telling me to. They're very, very, they're very quiet. That's why they call him Grunter. I can hear him grunting. At last, a silver perch. Mate, it is with great pleasure that I put you back. Now I'm getting a bite on the other rod. Got him. Missed him. Get the line back. It's all happening. So what am I up to? Probably three or four tiny redfin. Two tiny carp. 776 turtles. And one silver perch. And there's a bite just as I put that down there then. 29 centimetres is the PB. That's the number to beat. I'm almost out of Janjuck worms here. 
Now I have got heaps of sweet corn to use if I run out of worms, but I'm just not real keen on using corn because when I first got here I just caught turtle after turtle. In the first 15 minutes I caught like about four or five turtles. So I'm not real keen on going to corn. But anyway, we'll see if I can make do with the last couple of worms. Got him. Ah, it's a bloody turtle. Right, I've just put a circle hook on. Looks I've got a fish on the circle hook and I've missed the hook up. What have I got? It's, a, it's some of the carp, I think, isn't it? Oh, this rod. I've got a double hook up here. I think this is a, that's a silver perch, I think, on this rod under the float. And I think this is a turtle. In fact, I'm almost certain it's a turtle. So that can stay down there for a minute. I'll put my, uh, is it a silver or a carp? No, it's a silver. It's a silver, and would you believe it, it has swallowed my circle hook. It has swallowed the circle hook. All right, I'll have to break the line. I'll break the line, I'll put it back. I'll say, see you later, mate. Hopefully you can get that circle hook out. Now I've got to deal with this crazy turtle. The old turtle, eh? See you later. I feel sorry for him because I just get... I get so frustrated with catching them, but they are a beautiful animal. In moderation. <laughs> My float's getting towed on what looks like a very turtley bite. <laughs> if that's not a turtle, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, it's a turtle. On the circle hook. Ha <laughs> ha! It got off. Maybe that's a really good thing about circle hooks. Maybe they don't hook turtles. Wouldn't that be good if they just hooked only fish but not turtles? I've got an absolutely enormous turtle on here. I think this will probably break the line lifting it out of the water. Oh no, it's not, it's just that it's hooked in the back. It's towing. I made a slight change on this, right? I've just put a, uh, I rigged a Pat Noster rig. I like fish that are running sinker rig, but the wind's making it very hard. I think the Pat Noster rig might just make it a bit easier to detect nibbles. Well, Loretta is with me and she's super happy because she has just photographed the bird that she's been trying to photograph for a long time, a mistletoe bird. They seem to be very hard to find or we're finding them hard to come across, but Loretta's just, uh, just got some cracking photos of one and she's super stoked. Here's some of her photos right now. And don't forget, if you uh, are on Facebook, you can find Loretta's Facebook page at Loretta's Funky Photos. <laughs> I've only got about two worms left in me Jan Juck tub. I've just got a fresh one on this rod and that one there's uh, almost all gone. Something was playing with the pattern lost the rig here, okay? Oh, got him! <laughs> not a big fish, but it's a fish. That's not a turtle. It is a carp! Back to carp again. It's like uh, tic-tac-toe, you never know what you're going to get. You can get a carp, a redfin, or a silver perch, but one thing is guaranteed that it's probably not going to be more than about 10 or 12 centimetres long. <laughs> right, the same worm that just caught that carp, is just going straight back in as is. You bite here already, look at that. This is the, got him. This is the rod that just, this is a bigger fish. It's a, it's a bigger redfin, not quite a bigger, big enough redfin, but it's a bigger redfin that I've been catching. 
I'll put it in front of the sun. Oh yeah, the fish are getting bigger. <laughs> now I'll hold him that way so I can see his colours a bit better. Right now I'm putting the same worm back in. It's just caught that carp and that red fin, but there's not much of it left. It's uh, it's getting down to a worm skin, if you know what I mean. We'll put it back in and see if we can just milk it for one more. Try to get as much mileage out of my remaining worms as I can. I've just got a carp and a red fin. What have I got this time? A turtle. <laughs> carp, red fin, turtle. I don't know whether the camera's picking this up, but you can see there how much of this worm is left. About half an inch of worm skin. So I'll try and get a bit more mileage out of it yet. If I can just get her off the line and back onto the hook, there we go. Just gonna see if I can get a little bit more mileage out of it. <laughs> Here we go, it's pulling tight, it's pulling tight. There's hardly any worm left on this hook. There is hardly any worm left on this hook and it's pulling. Something's nibbling. It's pulling, it's nibbling, it's hard to detect in the wind now. Got him. Something really, really small. A tiny, weeny red venomy floats gone under on this rod. Got him. It's all, oh, that was a decent fish. That was a fish, it wasn't a turtle. And it was a half decent fish. I reckon that might have been a good silver. Oh, it's all happening. Get that back in. Deal with little meanie redfin here. It is all happening. I reckon that might have been the biggest silver that I've come for. All right, now I'm threading what I think is my last worm. I'll have a good look through the, the dirt in the bottom of me jam jack worm tin in a second. There's me float getting pulled around out there. Right, I've got no worms left, so I'm going to throw all the worm dirt just out there in front of me. They will act as burly. Here we go, getting a body. Got him. Ah, oh, it's another friggin' turtle. I might have wasted me last worm. It's a turtle bite if I've ever seen one. I came up this end to get away from these bloody things. It is with great reluctance that I thread a couple of uh, corn kernels onto my hook in the hope of catching a silver perch on corn because the worm situation is, I was going to say it's dire, it's over, there's none left I'm going to put some corn on my, uh, on my float rig as well got him, is it a fish? have I got a fish on the corn? nah a tiny weeny weeny little baby turtle Welcome back to Corn Fishing 101. See you later, mate. It's got a massive, massive... Oh, look at the size of that thing. This wind is ridiculous. Since the Jan Juck worms ran out, I've caught two turtles on corn and that's it i'm still getting a few people asking where, where you can buy the janjuck worms you can buy them online at their website if you google janjuck worms you will find their website and i'll put a link in the video description below as well but you can buy them online and let me tell you they are the fattest juiciest and toughest worms you'll ever use well look what i done before what did i catch one carp one red fin one turtle and i think one other red fin all on the one worm <laughs> Alan's flat water hole. I don't know who Alan is, but I like his flat water hole. But it's full of turtles. I must have caught at least 15 turtles tonight, if not more. Anyway, folks, the, the finned fish tally is, I think, five or six redfin, three carp, and two silver perch, all small. And on such a windy day, I done better than I thought I would. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.